Okay, so I have seen a lot of controversy on the internet about Continental flushable wet wipes and how they clog your pipes and all of this shit. I use Continental wet wipes. I've been using them for the past four years and at the old house that we rented, we've never had any issues. So I don't know what people are talking about. They're crazy in my opinion. So what I decided to do is I took one Continental wet wipe, put it in a glass of water and let it sit for a few hours. And I took Continental toilet paper, put in the cup and let it sit for a few hours. I'm gonna show you both of them. So here is the Continental wet wipe. And then this cup has the toilet paper in it, okay? So first, the Continental wet wipe. It's in pieces and it literally breaks apart. I don't know why people are saying it doesn't break apart, it doesn't break down, whatever. It does. Toilet paper. Same thing. Literally breaks apart. So, if you can't use the Continental wet wipes, you can't use Continental toilet paper because they do the exact same thing. You're only supposed to flush two Continental flushable wet wipes down at a time. And honestly, you shouldn't really need more. If you do, you have a lot of poop on your butt. That's just weird. Because that's how many Bryant uses. And he's six. So there's that. You're welcome for doing the amazing science experiment for you that literally anybody can do at their own house, but they choose to go by off what the internet says and be like, oh, so-and-so said this, this, this. These flushable wipes clog my toilet. Well, they probably weren't Cottonelle ones that you keep commenting on. And were they safe for your septic? You got to read the packaging, people. How many did you flush out down at once? Okay, you got to read the packaging as well for that. Mike has knockoff brand wet wipes that are flushable and it says one per flush they're not safe for septic cottonell ones are safe for septic it's two per flush so it's as simple as reading the package